on the right side of the box. So it looks good for a big dragon. A one out, and that's going to run in on Price and hit. single by Amick and uh, on the 2-2 pitch is swung on and missed uh, Bodine will have to throw over to first base uh, for the out and the sides retired and gets Bender to chase the first one here on the bottom half of the second and he comes back with one and it's hit in the air to right field and fairly deep and this one going back there and it is gone an opposite field home run for Derek Bender his 15th of the year and it's been a while for Bendy. It's an oppo taco. Off the bat, I thought it might have been a lazy fly ball to right. The ball just continued to carry, carry. And away it went into the Cle uh, Clemson uh, bullpen. And the score is 1-1. Bender thought he got it too after the contact. And well, Engel ran out of real estate. The coastal lefty deals. Fastball, that will miss low. And it's a leadoff walk. The one two. And it's lined right back up the middle for a base hit. Hard line drive on the breaking ball that Schaefer hung up. And a good two strike approach from Taylor. He has two hits tonight. But Clemson pushing the issue here as this ball is flared to left and it's going to go off the glove of Chad Bourne on a sliding attempt. One run's going to come in and they're going to wave the other runner around third. The play at the plate and he is safe ahead of the throw from the Coastal cutoff man. It's gonna be a two base error, making a three base error with Taylor coming around all the way from first and scoring. Bourne made the exact same play in the second inning. It was a slicing line drive off a left-handed bat and Bourne just overran the play. Runner leads from second base, first pitch is grounded under the glove of Blake Barthel, it's a base hit. Station to station goes Grice. Amick is two for two their defense uh, now struggling just a bit to find the strike zone and the one two and swung on a miss Tyndall got exactly what he needed right there the pitch and that's going to miss inside it's ball four and that's going to force in a run Blackwell has walked twice today he'll be awarded an RBI this time around as Grace scores one ball and no strikes here's the pitch and it's hit in the air high and deep in the left field Bourne looking up, and it's a grand slam home run. Jacob Jarrell hits his fifth of the year. Too many freebies here in the inning, and it comes back to bite Coastal. A seven-run third inning for the Clemson Tigers. All Clemson so far here tonight. Here's the 3-1, and that's going to be his uh, down low, ball four. So a one-out walk uh, will put a runner on base. Here's the 1-0, and Brown's going to be hit right in the back. Ouch, that pitch uh, got away from Olinchuk, and the fastball in the bottom of the fourth. And Barthel swings and lines one the other way into left field. It's station to station for Coastal. Barthel picks up the second hit tonight for Coastal. Ahead of the count, 1-0. and oh. And the pitch is hit in the air, high and deep into center field. Going back is Canarella. He's at the foot of the track, and he'll make the catch. Tagging from third and scoring is Beach. Moving from second to third is Brown. And the sack fly RBI from Jake Books will make the score 8-2. Some pretty good speed around the bases as Eels chops one over to the second baseman. Bertram, who will flip it underhand to Grice, and Hoffman gets out of the inning. Coastal leaves him loaded. The pitch, and that's going to miss up and away, ball four. 
Pitch to Blackwell. It's hit on the ground. This could be two. Mijos is going to go to Eels for one. He throws it away. Mijos throws it in the right field. And what should have been at least the force out and the lead out turns into a throwing error. 12th ranked West Virginia as Kenarella slices one down the left field line. Jake Books on the run. He's going to make the catch. But a solid plate appearance as the runners will tag. Scoring from third is right. Moving into third is Blackwell. It's a sack fly and an RBI for Canarella. They've struck out four. The one-two. There's hit on the ground. Eels coming charging in. He'll bobble it, and everyone's safe. An error by Eels. And two defensive miscues by the middle infield here in the frame has allowed Clemson to score two runs in the inning. And the runner goes. The payoff pitch is swung on and missed. Taylor goes down on strikes, and Clemson is retired here in the top of the fifth. In the fourth, here's the 3-2. That's going to miss up and away. A changeup uh, that the Amick, the DH, uh, offers at the first pitch and hits a high fly ball in the left field. A no-doubter for the second time this season. Amick uh, goes deep against the Coastal pitching staff. He hits his ninth home run of the year off the boardwalk in left field. Add two more to the scoreboard. It's now 12-2 Tigers here in the top of the sixth. That ball was absolutely crushed by the Clemson designated hitter. And for the third time tonight, a Clemson leadoff hitter gets on base with a leadoff walk and then comes around to score. This time trotting around the bases. As Amick sets the bat down calmly. The 3-2 is going to miss low, and Brown will work a leadoff walk. He's been on base twice, and he will line one softly to the shortstop. Blackwell, who will shoot it over to first base, but Brown will get back safely. Pinch hitting for Chad Bourne. A little cross-up there between uh, Weiss and Jarrell. Looked like Jarrell just airmailed on the pitch, and as a result, the runner in scoring position. 1-2 is hit through the four-hole for a base hit. And they're going to send Brown home. He will score, rounding third. Books picks up his second RBI of the night. A sack fly, an RBI base hit, makes the score 12-3 here at the bottom of the sixth. We'll step to the plate. 1-0 pitch, grounded through the right side. It's a base hit. And the Coastal freshman, Books and Mijos, or make it Garrison, do up when we get back, or when, uh, in the next at bat, which is coming now on a four pitch walk, get ahead 0 2. And the 0 2 is Scott in the right field, and moving into the corner is Ingle, still chasing, and this ball will drop just foul. Wow. With one out. And this ball hit up the middle for a base hit. It's going to score a couple of runs. Book scores. Mijos crosses home plate. Eels goes to third. It's a two strike. Two RBI base hit from Tanner Garrison. And Coastal cuts the lead. Now 12-5 the score. Gets set to deal for the first time. And the first pitch is grounded on two hops to Bertram. He flips over to Blackwell on the first. And it's a 4-6-3 double play. Caden Grice offers at the 1-0 pitch. And hits a high fly ball in the left field. And it's out of here. An opposite field home run for Caden Grice. Third round tripper of the night for Clemson. Grice goes deep for a team leading 12th time and an absolute bullet the other way for the Tiger cleanup hitter. It extends the lead, 13-5. Clemson now in front. That ball was absolutely crushed off the bat. He knew it and everyone else did in the entire ballpark. Payoff pitch now from the righty, and it's hit right back up the box for a base hit. Benjamin Blackwell has been on base all five times he has stepped to the plate tonight. He's been walked three times. This ball hit on the ground. This could be a two as Mijos goes to Eels for one, on to first, and it is a 6-4-3 double play. Good turn there this time for Mijos. The payoff pitch has popped up into shallow center field. Nick Lucky will make the call and the catch, four of which will be played right here as Barthel drives one to deep center field, twisting his Creighton, and he will 
Watch that ball drop, uh, and uh, Barthel is going to head all the way to third base. Uh, he is one of the league leaders in triples this season, and he will add one to the stat sheet, his fourth of the year. 2-0 pitch to Books, and this ball is driven into right center field and deep. Uh, Creighton on the run again, and it's going to drop down. One hit, one hop the wall. Have a day, uh, Jake Books. He's two for two, has three RBIs, and rips a double into the gap in right center field. It's 13-6. Clemson in front, out in left field. Mijos chases the one-two pitch, a, an off-speed pitch there from Hughes. Books leads from second, and this ball is ripped uh, off the uh, to the second baseman, Bertram, and Books was hung out to dry. He, he thought that ball had base hit written all over it. Off the bat, I did too. You know, at an elite program like uh, Coastal, not too often you're going to find uh, you know five, six freshmen, McBride. Well, he'll deal the first pitch that's lined in the right field for a bloop base hit. Holding up at second is Ingle as Brown gets it in to the cutoff man. And the 2-2, did he go? Yes, he did. Amick uh, unable to check his swing. As McBride throws the 3-2 and it's uh, swung on and missed. Extra inning come from behind win as Gary goes down on three pitches, chases one out of the strike zone week contest uh, because the Cougars missed out as Lucky hits one the other way and deep to left field going back is Creighton up against the wall he'll make the catch the six o'clock flight to Mobile as Bender offers at the first pitch and that should do it it's Grice who will flip over to Lindley at first and this ball game is over Clemson knocks off uh, Coastal Carolina tonight the final score 13-6